very good morning to you. I meet you in Romans 5 verse 6. It says, Christ died for the ungodly. And so is our heading. Christ died for the ungodly. In the redemption which is in Christ Jesus, it is always the mercy of God that is extended according to the mercy he saved us. He, for Christ's sake, according to his abundant mercy, forgive us our trespasses. The law was given by Moses, but grace and truth by Christ Jesus. The grace of God and the gift of grace, which is by one man Jesus Christ, has abounded unto many. So, firstly, grace reigns through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. But, brethren, mercy implies sinfulness. There can be no mercy extended to the just, for justice itself secures every good thing to them. Grace, too, can only be for offenders. What grace is wanted by those who have kept the law and deserved well at Yahweh's hand? To them, eternal life would be a matter of debt, a fairly earned reward. But when you talk of grace, you at once shut out merit and introduce another principle. Mercy can only be exercised where there is sin, and grace cannot be manifested except to the undeserving. And secondly, the gospel issues its invitations. But what are the invitations? Are they not addressed to those who are burdened with a load of sin and laboring to escape from its consequences? It invites the man who has no money, or in other words, no merit. It calls to those who are needy and thirsty and poor and naked. And all these are but used as figures of status produced by sin. The very gift of the gospel implies sin. Life is for the dead, sight is for the blind, liberty is for the captives. Cleansing is for the filthy, absolution is for the sinful. An application. No gospel blessing is proposed as a reward, and no invitation is issued to those who claim the blessings of grace as a matter of right. Men are invited to come and receive them freely according to the grace of God. And what are the commands of the gospel? Repent. But who repent, saith a sinner? I pray. Thank you, Father, for the gift of eternal life, for the gift of grace. In Jesus' name, Amen.